that's one of my big concerns. I think it's just a general concern is, uh, oh, they got to play major junior sooner than later. And here's a case where uh, there might be more of an exodus of players leaving. But I think the reminder to wherever you play coaches, let them play. If they're not, let them play where they'll play more and be leaders and develop more. So it's a real fine line between development and progress. So any comments on that, uh, Barry? The kids too young, should have stayed back a year, could have, would have, should have? Well, that's a story right from minor hockey, isn't it, Wally? Yes. We want our six-year-old daughter to be 16. No, we don't. But we want our six-year-old son to play next level hockey. Uh, maybe that's a bad analogy, but uh, at the end of the day, that's typical with with parents. They don't recognize the importance of playing at the level that they're supposed to be at. There are a few kids, you know, when you look at the CHL that have been exceptional status. And I think like the Western League finally allowed one here a year or so ago. And Maddie's done fairly well. He got injured the first year. Um, just coming across a blue line with his head down again, like <laughs> lots of young kids do. And um, somebody ended up taking advantage of it. So I think that's part of it. If, if they're skilled enough, the coach where whatever team they're going to is going to play them and give them opportunity simply because of the skill and they're hired to win and skill can win if it works hard. Um, I think what you end up looking at are two things. One is a social issue with the player that's really young. So you've got a 16 year old with a bunch of 19 and 20 year olds, totally different lifestyles. So I think that's really important to take a look at. And what what is the team doing to help them out? 16 year olds going to school, 19 and 20 year olds aren't for the most part. So there again is a different lifestyle component to it. Um, and then the other one obviously is the physical side of it is, are they strong enough, uh, physically strong enough to be able to handle the game? And are they mentally strong enough to not play 30, 40 minutes like they were playing back in minor hockey and being a leader and everything else? So there's a whole lot that goes into it. If they go to a team that has a coach that is a transformational coach and recognizes those things and can teach the rest of the staff and the player itself and the other players, uh, here's what we're going to do and why we're doing it and how we're doing it, I think he's got a chance. Uh, but when you take a look at if if they don't, then I don't think it's going to be nearly as successful. And I mean, even look at this year's draft with somebody that thought they might be number one pick and didn't end up going number one. And what are the reasons why? I think the kid has the tools, but maybe there's some things that happened in that last year of his play that um, scouts were turned off by. Barry, you mentioned... Uh when they're playing minor hockey and getting 30 minutes. And I'm thinking you mentioned the physical physicality, um, the physical maturity of kids in minor hockey depends on their birth date in many cases. And the major junior draft, uh, and I don't know what the recent statistics are, but uh, I believe it's close to 80% are drafted in the first three months of the year. So uh, they're, they're often eight months older than some of the kids growing up and getting those opportunities because of their birth date. Um, whereas younger ones might not get those opportunities because they are in fact physically younger and they don't get to play in minor hockey. It's sort of a a forgotten factor in minor hockey and the uh, the biggest issue and the reason I have this group is is that ho minor hockey has to play everybody and I don't you know they have to manage the bench fairly and I'm all for rolling the lines in, in minor hockey because who knows how good they're going to be but if you don't play them the uh, psychological, the, the effect on their psyches and confidence growing up is traumatic. So we're doing harm to those not playing, and we may do, be doing more harm to those that are getting double shifted. The attitudes, the entitlement that's developed moving up, 
And I really believe that the issues that Hockey Canada is facing right now uh, are a product of the system that's focused on elitism and winning without appreciating the process of development and winning. 